Hello viewers and welcome again to my friend the Holy Spirit. This is Gift to Zawadi Love. We continue with our series on fasting and prayer. And uh, remember the last time we were talking about praying, loving people, that your light shall break forth like in the morning and your healing shall come speedily. Reverend Priscilla, can you uh, take us again? Into yes, journey? Uh, the Bible says that and your righteousness shall go before you. You know, righteousness is from God. When we do what God wants, when we obey God, righteousness. The Bible says that your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of God shall be your rear guard. Oops. Mm. In front of you, the righteousness, the back. Ha, the glory, of, the glory God. of God. And for those who don't, um, didn't see the previous series, it's Isaiah 58. We are in Isaiah 58, verse 8. Mm. I am imagining myself there. The righteousness of God ahead of me. The glory of God, Maria, at, on the back. I'm telling you, everybody will even love you. You know, people say, oh, I, I, I love you. You wonder why? Because that glory is on you. Because you have agreed to go out of your way mm. and do what God wanted to do. Amen. People say, ah, some of these things, even God understands. God, God does not understand anything that you do that is not according to his will. But you do according to his will. Then you are there in the middle. You are guarded in front and the back. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. Amen. The glory of God shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. Mm. You shall cry and he will say, here I am. Who wants to pray and nobody hears? <laughs> Who wants to cry and nobody is hearing you? Mm. God, the Bible says, your sin has hidden the face of God. My hand is, my hand is not, it's hard, hard to save. Mm. It's not difficult for him to save. Mm -mm. But your sin, hmm? it's true. your sin, your unrighteousness mm -hmm. have made him even turn away that he cannot hear you. Now, do not allow God to turn away and not hear you. First, according to this chapter, as we have read, mm -hmm. then you will pray. God says, I will answer you. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we pray. We don't just pray for the sake of it. You say, then you say, God does not answer prayers. I realize I prayed. Nothing happened. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. Bible says all things work together for good to them that are called according to God's purpose. Eh? To them. Eh? You must be take mm. take yourself yeah. eh? to them that love God that love God mm. and are called according to his purpose. Mm. So if you're in the purposes of God mm. and things don't happen, check. God will never miss. Maybe you are asking for a knife to cut yourself. He may say, No, this one will cut you. But he will always answer. Mm. There will be an answer to your prayer mm. if you fast the way it is here. You will cry. And he will hear your cry. That's what Amen. you shall cry. And he will say, here I am. Yes. Oops. Yes. That is my desire. Yes. That I will cry to my God and he will say, here I am. Mm. And he will give me direction. And he will tell me, this is the way. He knows the way through. Imagine he knows the, the way through mm. 2020. Mm. He knows what will happen in January, February, up to December. Mm. He knows it all. Why not follow him? Amen. Somebody sang a song and say, The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. That's all you need to do. Amen. Just to follow Christ Amen. through this year. If Amen. he goes right, go. If he goes left, go. Follow him. Mm -hmm. Just follow him. It may look foolish. It may look like you don't know what you are doing. People may look at you and think you are too spiritual. You are becoming too spiritual. You are showing you, you want to preach to me. You know? I, I'm telling you, preach. Preach. This is the time to do that. Mm -hmm. This is the time to do that. Mm -hmm. Preach it. Be spiritual. Mm -hmm. Be of a spiritual. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants. Yes. And he will answer you. You will cry. He will hear you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he will pray and he will answer you. Amen. That's how, what we are looking for. And you see that of a spiritual mm -hmm. is actually what you need to be. Mm -hmm. Because if your spirit is less than your flesh, yes. then you will sin. 
sin mm -hmm. becomes very easy. Mm -hmm. But if your spirit outdoes your flesh mm -hmm. in strength, mm -hmm. like she says, righteousness going before you mm -hmm. and the glory of God behind you. Why? Because you're obedient to God. Mm -hmm. And it, it reminds me of an obedient child. Mm -hmm. The parent answers them quickly. Mm -hmm. If I tell my son to do something and they're always on it, when I ask them to do something, they're always doing it and they're obedient. Or when they say, mom, yes. I'm ready to answer mm -hmm. and I'm ready to give them what they need speedily. But if I have a disobedient one, even when they call, I'm not eager to answer them. Because I have to wonder, did you even first do what I asked you to do? Mm -hmm. I'm not eager to do it. Mm -hmm. But why can't we just be that, those obedient children? And loving God is obeying God. Mm -hmm. He says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. If we love him, we will fast the way he wants us to fast and like these are the people who are saying why are we fasting and you're not answering us that will not be our cry because when we call upon him he'll say here i am mm -hmm. when we cry he answers mm -hmm. hallelujah that is the kind of fast i want and the one that makes sense and you know and you know what he says mm? in verse that in 11 the lord will guide you continually <laughs> who wouldn't want that <laughs> continually who would not want that every day continually not just during the time you're fasting mm -hmm. it will be continually the whole of this year the lord will lead you if you begin asking where are you god where are you you have left me 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 i don't see god mm. it is you who has left do you remember the story of that lady who was married and they were very very good friends with mm. a husband mm. and so as they were driving they were always close together mm -hmm. they were always close together mm -hmm. and one day the the the, the, the wife said mm -hmm. after some time that i said you when we got married you used to be very close to me even when we were driving you were very close to me mm? now i don't know what happened the way the husband told her i also don't know what happened because the steering wheel is still in the same place where it was <laughs> You must be the one who has moved. Because he can't move. There is no <laughs> he way he can't can move. He's on the steering wheel. Wow. When God is on the steering wheel, he will not move. If you are asking where is God, you are the one who has moved, my sister. Did you my go brother. to the back seat? Did you, go, <laughs> did you move and, and leave God alone and sit at the back? Mm. Mm. Why you left? Did you get out of the vehicle? Mm. Eh? And God is, is it, you left me. No, you're the one who moved. Can we stay close to Jesus Amen. even during this fast? Amen. Because he's saying he's leading us continually, Amen. continually. He will never leave that steering wheel. No. Let him drive your life. Mm. Let him drive your life. Mm. Even when it looks like there is danger, mm. give him the steering wheel. Yes. Because he will get through it. He yes. has no history yes. of failing. Amen. Just allow him. Allow him to drive your life. Amen. And you will never regret. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says he will never leave us nor forsake mm -hmm. us. And his word is always true. Mm. So if we feel, we feel alone we are the ones who left him mm -hmm. and forsook him mm -hmm. hallelujah mm -hmm. thank you so much mm -hmm. this is amazing mm -hmm. just to know that our god wants to lead us continually mm -hmm. this is his desire you see one thing that i'm getting with this is these people cried and these people asked god why are you not answering us mm -hmm. and god would have had a choice uh, an option to just keep quiet and say forget about these people mm -hmm. but look at how he's specifically telling them this is the reason why I want you to do this and this and this and this. Then this is what I'll do. Mm -hmm. He's giving them leakage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's telling them, mm -hmm. I want to answer you. I want to lead you. Yes. I want you to be right. Yes. I want you to, to go into you. the right place. Yes. I want to do all these things are mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. But you are doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. And this is a loving God yes. who is actually telling us, stop this. This is wrong. This is right. And step by step. Beloved, I pray that you take this as instructions from God on how to fast and get results and please God and change the world because fasting and prayer brings revival, mm -hmm. changes the world mm -hmm. and helps us to be continually led mm -hmm. by God himself. The Bible says that they that are led by the spirit of God, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. Please join us again as we continue this wonderful series mm -hmm. on fasting and praying God's way. Thank you.